Uh, Dave Snowden, I'm the Chief Scientific Officer of a company called Cognitive Edge and the workshop I was running was to enable the participants to effectively run their own workshops using complex systems approaches to strategy. Complexity theory deals with systems which are inherently uncertain and the way you manage a complex system is you don't do fail-safe design, you do safe-fail intervention. Um, so a classical approach to a, a problem is to identify the right solution and implement it. In a complex environment, what you do instead is identify any coherent theory and produce a small experiment which you can afford to fail around that theory. So the practical example I gave in the conference was work we did on Aboriginal food, in which we basically, instead of deciding what was the right approach to actually handle a shift back to a local diet, which will improve health, was to allow anybody from the local community who had a coherent theory about how that could happen, a small amount of money to run an experiment. Three, four years later, all of the experiments were still running in modified format and a solution had been found. It had emerged through the interaction. Much more effective than big design. All right, a couple of key things. First of all is the one I've just mentioned. In a complex system, you move from fail-safe design to safe-fail experimentation. The other key point is that hindsight doesn't lead to foresight. If the system is complex, the past will only repeat by accident. And that means that we have to hold open as long as possible the possible solutions before we act. Yeah? So you move away from the sort of structured three, four year plans into these much more dynamic interactive systems, which means you need fast monitoring, you need constant feedback, but you need this experimental approach. listening.